for this next one, I'm taking over the persona of uh, Nick Clegg's wife. <laughs> <laughs> so it's called Mrs. Clegg. <laughs> he dropped all the other girls for me. Tara, Lib, and Sandra D. No diss or dem or dat. He was well spoken, that was a fact. He promised and assured. He seduced and he lured. I always thought he'd stick to his word, but he was a politician, I heard. There was a problem. He was hung like a horse, the race had begun. He couldn't decide the colour of his tie. Red or blue? Fall or fly? But what was true? Lie, lie, lie. Loyal support. Bye, bye, bye. I always thought yellow was his colour, but he was a wuss. Just another. He used to be very liberal with his time, but the conversation was exciting, the bedroom was sublime. Yeah. But now, he'll drop by the house of a toff no one common, and in that house, Lord, his morals are forgotten. We've made love far less, now ladies take note, hubby would rather talk alternative votes. I always thought we'd have kids, but please, what would we do about university fees? <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> and then came the betrayal. I didn't cry, I didn't sob, I didn't wail, I just got pissed off at his new habit. <coughs> Whilst we were going at it, this was really brave. Instead of calling out my name, he called me Dave. <laughs> <laughs> No explanation, he just accepted his condemnation. <laughs>